Ten years ago, in New York City, I had the pleasure to meet Guillermo Hong. Right from the beginning, I found him to be a fascinating character with numerous facets. He had a knack to pushing boundaries and exploring new realities. Unfortunately, we lost touch before the onset of COVID-19 pandemic. I often found myself wondering about Guillermo's whereabouts and who he has become in the present day. I'm a journeyman. Yeah. I'm a Renaissance man, I guess they call it too. With my curiosity, I got involved in many things. Music is one, cooking is one, flying drone is another one. I used to be a photographer. I talk. I do whatever to stay out of the mainstream lifestyle. I think that's what I'm, I am. That's really cool. Can you share with me? Uh, how the pandemic impact uh, the way you live and work in New York, specifically when you was a uh, owner of the Picard Latin Chinese food. Closed my restaurant right before the pandemic. Okay. I had I had that restaurant for six years, but right before my business was shut down. Once I closed it, I stayed for in New York for a couple months, and I bought a van. And okay. Since then, I've been traveling on, on my van. So, uh, so how, uh, how did this decision uh, change the condition of your life, uh, the working habits and life habits, living in a band? How, how, how did this decision change that? Well, a lot of things change. I got to adapt. There's a lot of things I wasn't planning. I just learned. Here, when there's no sun, I shut off my electricity because I'm solar powered. So you don't, you don't turn on your air condition and go away. Because okay. it's a hot day, you know. Oh no, I gotta go out. I don't want my apartment to be hot when I'm gonna come back. You don't do that. Yeah. You know, so your mindset changed a lot. No matter so, what you say, your mindset gotta change because you're not living with a running electricity and running water anymore. You're not gonna take a shower. You you, you start stretching the boundaries. Yeah, okay. In life. Oh, so at this point, yeah. what 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 does uh, how mean to you? Well, at least I don't have to pay a rent. I'm in the van, so I get to see a point. I, I get to understand it from far, far away because I'm not in the rat hole and the rat race to get my rent paid. So that brings me back to be more free. It's, it's very simple because sometimes some people, Instagrammer, has a, they are living in a RV, very fancy, a luxury, expensive a, bands with uh, so technologic uh, devices and everything uh, like a ideal uh, way to live. What do you think about this uh, Instagrammer compared with another people like you living in a, a, a different way in, in, in a band? We grew up in a, you know what? A lot of things when you see on Instagram is commercial. commercial. It's a way of commercial because we, we're just selling things because just we just know that yeah, whoever's yeah. doing it, me or somebody more fancy than me, we yeah. grew up uh, faking ourselves. You know, like it's so different because when you're here, you meet people on the van and nobody's as fancy as that, but it's a sharing thing. Uh, a lot of people that, that I met that has one of those bands, they don't live long. Uh, they just do vacation thing. So they just do it for a week, a month, maybe, but they don't live full time in it. So I don't know. A lot of there's a lot of you know Vogue magazine there, man. A lot of people are just renting a van and taking pictures. A lot okay, of people. Okay, 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 got you. So, so, what what do you hope to yeah. for the future? How you see your future? I don't see my future. I live my present. I don't care You're about really, my future. Okay. No, 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 no. That's the whole thing. I forget my, my my past and forget about the future, man. Can, can you explain a little bit about that project? I'm a trained musician. Play music for fun is my way to save the world, maybe. And you can play with your flute along with it. Okay. Uh, then you're going to learn how to create a sound, 
the the muscle of being there and making a sound and being happy. You don't have to be the Jimmy Hendrix to be happy. They told you that you have to. That's why you don't you you bypass that beautiful thing of of playing on tune one note beautifully in the flute instead of watching the news. Wonderful, Guillermo. Thank yes. you so much. See you soon. Thank you, Miguel. I see you soon. Talking with Guillermo made me reflect on my home in Bogota and my new life in New York City. I admire his bravery in changing his life. Unfortunately, we know that not everyone has this kind of freedom to make changes. I imagine a world where everyone has a safe and warm home. And I know I am not the only one. We aim to decriminalize homelessness and highlight the importance of sleep experiences to make our collective vision real. We are surrounded with potential, and one step we can take together starts with speaking up and sharing. This is how we will bring real freedom to our homes. Yeah.